Hello guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful light effect. Um, so let's begin. First I'm gonna open the woman image that is gonna be this one right here. And the first thing I'm going to do is lower the resolution because this image is too big for my computer and I cannot do this tutorial uh, with this size so I'm just gonna lower the resolution to 72 I'm just gonna type right here 72 you can leave it the size the size it is um, I'm just lowering it because I'm doing this tutorial and I'm using the older program to record this and it uses too much memory so um, resolution 72 and I'm gonna click OK and I'm going to bring the uh, one of the background images and I think the first one is going to be this one right here the bucket bubble squad paper I'm just gonna drag it I'm gonna flip it I'm gonna rotate it 90% and I'm just going to make it the same size as the canvas and I'm going to click OK I'm going to put that below the woman layer I'm gonna right click it and I'm gonna rasterize layer then I'm going to blur that image by 2 or 3 pixels I'm going to go to filter blur Gaussian blur and I'm going to see how it looks good I'm going to put 3 pixels and remember if you have the original image with a 300 resolution your radius pixels is going to be larger than this one so I might have 3 right here but in your case um, you need to put around 10 or 20 pixels so it depends on the size of the image so just make sure it doesn't blur out the background too much and that will be all fine so click OK so next I'm going to break the other background image it's gonna be this one right here I'm gonna do the same thing rotate 90 degrees and I'm going to fit the canvas click OK and I'm going to change the blend mode to soft light so now I'm going to go to the woman layer and I'm gonna add some outer glow so I'm just gonna double click it and I'm going to select outer glow I'm gonna leave the blend mode to a screen and the opacity is gonna be around 30 percent the color I'm going to choose is gonna be the red one the red one so I'm just gonna select red I think I'm going to select this red right here Mm, I'm not so sure about the red so I might come back and see what red looks good so I'm just gonna click OK but right now and on size I'm going to put 60 pixels so let's see about the red color I'm going to select this red color so the numbers is gonna be DE1D2E and I'm gonna I'm gonna copy this because I'm gonna use the same one to the inner color so I'm just gonna copy that and click OK next I'm going to go to inner inner glow uh, blend mode to screen opacity around 30 color is gonna be the same the same red color so I'm just gonna paste that number there and the size is gonna be 24 and click OK 
So next, I'm gonna add some levels to the woman. So levels, I'm gonna put it as a clipping mask by clicking on this icon, and I'm going to put two and point ninety eight. Next, I'm gonna add some curves. So go to curves, and I'm gonna put it as a clipping mask as well. And I'm gonna make this point right here and move it just a little right here. Uh, something right here. Then I'm going to go to the next point and it's gonna be somewhere right there and I'm gonna lower the opacity to 50 or 51 and I'm gonna close that curves panel so next I'm gonna add I'm, I'm going to make a new layer and you can name this layer um, let's name it I'm just gonna name it white then I'm gonna select the brush tool and a, a white color with a soft brush and I'm going to paint this little red pearl the middle one so I'm just gonna make this size right like this a little bigger so I'm just gonna make it the size of this circle right here and I'm going to change the blend mode to soft light so next I'm going to make another layer and I'm gonna select this red right here it's gonna be the RGB red and I'm going to paint one more time on the same place and I'm going to change the blend mode to color and you can name that layer to red so you can have track of those layers so next I'm gonna insert the last image that is gonna be this one right here I'm going to flip it let me see Let change the blend mode to color touch and yeah that will be good so next I'm going to make another layer I'm going to paint the whole layer to red so select this red again press alt and backspace to fill that layer with the color red and change the blend mode to soft light and the opacity around 15% so next I'm going to make a stamp control alt shift and E then we're gonna add more blue to this image by going to image adjustment variations and click on the lower left where it says more blue and click ok and I'm going to lower the opacity to 50% and I'm going to make another stamp control shift alt E and this time we're going to add a gradient map so go to the gradient map adjustment click on this color to select your gradient map so I'm gonna select this one right here is gonna be the R Russell's rainbow I don't know if that's how you call it but um, if you don't have this one right here on your presets click on this little icon settings on the top area and select photographic toning 
and you can click OK or Append. If you click OK, it's going to remove the other ones, and it's gonna you're gonna see the photographic toning by itself. If you click Append, it's gonna put those below the ones you already have. So I already have them, so I'm just gonna click Cancel. You can click one of these to Append or OK, and select this one right here. So once you have this selected, click OK and change the blend mode to soft light. And nope, it's not soft light. Uh, change the blend mode to hue. And I like that color, but let's go with 50%. So change the opacity to 50% and that's the purple color we're looking for. You can leave it on 100% if you like the blue one, but for this tutorial it's going to be this purple one. So now we're going to make a dodge and burn layer. I already have an action for this. You should already have it by now because I have it on one of my tutorials. So if you don't have this action, look on my videos for the burn and dodge action. So once you have the dodge and burn layer, select the dodge tool with exposure 19% and range midtones. And we're going to dodge some white areas. So like right here, I'm going to dodge these areas, white areas that we see on the flower petals, just to make it look more with more light So once you're done with the dodge and burn, let's see the difference between this one and the other one. So let's unclick the dodge and burn layer and see how it looks without it. So that you can see it looks better on the highlights. And you can take more time doing this so I think it looks pretty good so after this we're going to add a brightness and contrast and we're going to put 15 on brightness
So just to make this image a little bit brighter. So uh, you can put more or less, it depends on how you want your image to look like. So right here I'm just put 15 to make it look brighter. I can put 10 if I want and it's gonna look good too. I'm just gonna leave it at 10. So there you go, this is the result of the image. So I hope you like this tutorial and don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share with your friends if you find this interesting and you think they might like it. And yeah, do you have any questions? Comment below and see you next time. Bye bye.